What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can insert and edit a Microsoft Excel workbook directly in your Word document. So, to do this, you want to open your Word document and then go to the Insert tab. And then go towards the right and you, under the Text Grouping, you're going to see an option called Objects. Click on that and then click on Objects. And here you can see a variety of different objects that you can insert directly into your Microsoft Excel Word document, such as different Excel worksheets, Microsoft PowerPoints, Microsoft Open Document, presentations, packages, what have you. Um, but here we're going to want to click on either Microsoft Excel Workbook or Microsoft Excel Macro Enabled Workbook, whatever fits, fits your needs the most. And you can insert older versions if you want to as well. But here I'm going to click on Microsoft Excel Worksheet and then click OK. And then after a second for loading, as you can see, we have an Excel document within our Word document. And this is awesome too, um, because as you can see, it has all the almost all the things that we want um, in Excel. So clicking outside of this, is, as you can see, the header looks like you know Word, but clicking inside the document, as you can see, the header adjusts to be Excel, which I which I think is pretty cool. And as you can see, all of our favorite functions and features of Excel. Are now within our, our with now within our Word document. So let's just say, for example, we want to put in some random numbers, some random dates. So use the today function equals this plus one, and then you know as you can see, some of our favorite functions are now um, can be used in Word. And then we can type in one, you know, equals this plus one, and then drag that down. And as you can see, now we have some dates, we have some numbers. And then we can click out of that. And as you can see, now this is what, we lo what it looks like. And you can even insert, you know, Excel charts, for example, in your Word document directly. So you do this, you can highlight the range, go to the insert, recommended charts, for example, and then click on just the basic bar chart. And as you can see, now we have a an Excel chart within our Word document. Um, but as you can see, obviously this is, you know, might not be the cleanest way to do things. So for example, I'm having to, to resize this, you know, to make it look like what I want it to. I have to kind of resize the Excel document within the Word document to get it looking like I want it to. Um, also, also, you know, you don't have all of the Excel keyboard shortcuts that you have might have. So, you know, if I press the Alt key, for example, nothing really happens. So if I wanted to turn off grid lines, for example, I can't do Alt of WVG. I have to go to the View tab and then turn off grid lines. And as you can see, now grid lines are off. And I have a Word document, um, Excel document for a Word document. Also, you might want to play with your settings a bit or some the formatting because it can look a little bit funky whenever you're going to print this, as you can see. Some of the font does look a bit blurry, but I just thought this was a pretty cool feature. Um, and you know, this is great because you can have some flexibility in, in, in of Excel in Word, which is great, especially if you're trying to do calculations or make these visualizations. Um, it's so much easier to do that in Excel than is Word. But a cleaner way might be to just copy a document from your Word, from, copy something from your Excel document into your Word document as an Excel um, in, in a, as, an, as an Excel object. So that way it will just look a little cleaner. But I hope that said I hope you found this to be helpful. I just thought this was a pretty cool how you can you know have Excel in your Word document. And if you did please like subscribe comment. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.